What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's talk about this, man. Check this out. Um, what do you do when you're coming to the end of your career? When you done battled almost everybody, and it seemed like you only got a few, a few more names that's worth something, that's respected left. When you, when you spent your whole entire career on basically one platform, what do you do? Do you remain loyal? Or do you now start to think business-wise now? Since you see, it ain't too much more for you to do. Could that even be respected? Is that even real? You know what that remind me of? It remind me of people who start out in church singing. And then people find out they got a good voice. And they start out singing for the Lord. And then the industry want to sign them to an R&B record label deal. And then they forget about God. And then when they get to their career where they ain't selling records no more and fell off, then they go back to the, the church and gospel because they know that the church is going to always accept them. That's what this reminds me of. You spend your whole career, y'all spending your whole career shaming King of the Dot, shaming Black Eyed Cartel, shaming Guerrilla Warfare, shaming Red Breed Entertainment, Jeff the Game Smack. Them favor, kissing butt, depriving your family and children of uh, money that could make their life a little bit more easy and better well off with because you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But at the same time, hurting your own. And then when you ain't, then when you at the end of your career, now you want to act cool with everybody you disrespected and turned your back on. All while you were kissing behind smack in the URL But What do you do, Rum Nitty, Tay Rock, DNA? Well, not DNA. I can't mention him. What do you do, Briz, T-Tops, Twerks? Rum Nitties, Av. What do y'all do? When y'all coming to the end of y'all careers. There ain't too many more battles out there for you. What do you do? Do you remain loyal all the way to the end? Or do the reality kick in like, man... I should have been looking out. Tomorrow ain't promised to none of you brothers. None of you brothers. Tomorrow ain't promised to none of y'all. I hate y'all think that y'all really believe and think y'all got tomorrow. Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. And you don't know if you got tomorrow. You brothers ain't even in relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So your chances of making it to tomorrow is even worse. It's even worse. Look at all the opportunities y'all done missed out on. Look at all the situations y'all could have helped y'all family and children in better situations. But because of fear and because of you didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings, you'd rather deprive yourself of better opportunities for yourself in the future. What do loyalty mean when you're the only one giving up something? Is that really loyalty? What makes them loyal on their end? Could I just ask that question? We understand y'all loyal, but what makes them loyal on their end? Because they book you? No, that's business. That's not loyalty. If you wasn't good, you wouldn't be getting booked. If you wasn't good, you wouldn't be getting booked. You're getting booked because you're good. You're not getting booked because you're not good. That would be a difference. 
What's loyalty when you're the only one that have to that have to give 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 up something and prove something? What is it? And what are you loyal to? Are you loyal to your families? Because if you examine and think about it, you're not. If you had the opportunity to give your son or daughter 30 extra thousand dollars a month to better their future and career, and you turned it down doing the same thing you do, and you get paid to do, that's your career to do, because you don't want to hurt another man feeling who already rich, who already okay, who already took care of while you struggling, trying to make your way. Who you really loyal to? Is that loyal to your family? Is that loyal to your children? Is that loyalty? Right. And if a man really had your best interest and really cared about you, your family, and your children, why wouldn't he or she want you to do what's right for them to get that extra money? Especially when I ain't giving it to you. If you can go somewhere to get 30000 more extra dollars and it ain't got to come out of my pocket... Go ahead, brother. Go get that paper. Especially when I'm already rich. So what is loyalty when you the only one have to prove it? Not loyalty at all, is it? And this the thing I be trying to talk to you brothers about. This the thing I try to educate you brothers on. At the end of the day, everything is business. Nothing is personal. Look, this is business. It's not personal. That should be both ways. The moment y'all make this stuff personal is the moment you make that mistake. The moment business becomes personal, that's when you made the mistake. Because personal makes you not want to look at business. It makes you want to look at relationships. Which hinder business. That only works for the one. That wants it to be personal. That only works for the one. That wants it to be personal. But when it's business. It's not personal. It's business. I'm being paid for a service. And I'm going to give you the service. I've been paid for. But my services is not only. Is not exclusively to you. Which means it don't only belong to you. My services is for anybody that has the money to afford my services. And I'm going to do the best on your platform just like I'm doing on theirs. You owe the loyalty to God first. God first. Then your family. Then yourself. See, the moment you put yourself last and you put your and, and you put your uh, and you put yourself last and you put others first and you really stuck to that, you'll begin to make better choices and decisions for your life. That's what joy is. Jesus first, others next, and you last. That's what joy is. J-O-Y, Jesus first, which is God. Others next, which is your family and loved ones. And then you think of yourself last because you know you have a responsibility. Do not let these brothers manipulate, deceive y'all, brainwash you, make you feel left in something, make you feel like, like you, you, you plan them. Because they did something big for you. No. This is a multi-million dollar business. Trust me. Y'all done gave them way more than enough. They still get the short end of the stick. Time to start being loyal to God. And your family. And be responsible men. And make the right choices and decisions. And when you come to the end of the road of your career. And you look back at it all. It's something you want to be proud of. It's something you want to look at and say, I did this my way. I did this my way. 
and you still got the respect from the woman you love and the children you have and your peers that's around you. Most of all, you live the life pleasing and acceptable unto God. That's what really matters. And it's your boy Battle Troop. Check this out. Click the link in the description box. It's going to send you straight to my Instagram channel. Follow me on Instagram. If you rock with me, support me, man, like what I do, follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 2,000 Instagram followers so I can start going live, doing my new shows and things like that. You don't want to miss out on it. I want y'all to be there, man. Help your boy out. Support me on that, man. That's the least you could do. It don't hurt you to do it, man. Click the link. Send you right there. Follow me on Instagram. Support your boy. This battle truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. Who are you loyal to? Who are you loyal to? When loyalty only is for you. When loyalty is only for you. Who is you loyal to? When you the only one I have to do it. Think about that.